pick a card your next three months. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Grislana with Psychic MD and I'm here to do another pick a card reading. Let's get the intention and selection. We're reading for the next 30 days. Why not? We're doing it because we can. The next 30 days. Let's get a little bit of sagey sage going on all up in here. Hope that everybody's doing super well. For those of you new to my channel, thank you for stopping in. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, thank you, thank you. The next 30 days, let's get some cards. Spirit for the next 30 days, clear and concise messages. Help me get an anchor card, one for each. Pile number one. Individuality with Zoe. Pile number two, Summon. And pile number three, High Priestess of Air. Take a peek at the cards, see what calls to you, and I'll see you at your pile. Pause if you need more time. Hi, Pal One. My name is Grisel with Psychic MD. If you miss the intro, and I want to get a little bit of sagey sage just to get rid of any residual energy. Welcome all. So you chose individuality. And that's with the number 47. So Spirit's saying this is a great time to make an assessment about how unique you are how different, how nobody is identical to you, even the imitators. And by the way, those are people that actually want to steal your thunder, actually want to be you. So no threat there, really. Let's see where this goes for the next three months, please. What do we have for the next three months? For pile number one, let's get three cards. Energy check. We have community. There could be some form of celebration. Some kind of a contract that perhaps you're in the middle of or you're looking to fulfill. And last card, appreciation. So for some reason, I feel like this is talking about your current community and how maybe you've been comparing yourself to other people which is really not the best idea. I mean, I think we all, at different points of times in our lives, oh, Coco, <laughs> we could struggle with that. You okay, buddy? You okay? He's not having it with the cores I have here, trying to film my thing. Um, I think that you're gonna get some public recognition, some form of appreciation from your community and something that's quite unexpected some form of recognition and acknowledgement for the work that you've been currently doing. It doesn't have to be like formal work. It pays side hustle, side gig. And I think that you're going to unmask some people that are actually envious of you. Now, perhaps this is stating that, you know how they say imitation is the best form of flattery, but not really. So perhaps you are going to uncover, discover, or have somebody um, who gets brought into your circle that is an imitator of you. And they're trying to kind of steal how you look, maybe how you behave, how you talk, or how you work, any of those things in an effort to really elevate themselves. And I'm being told that you don't really, it's not like you're really feeling yourself. It's not like you have this high self-esteem. So why would this happen to begin with? But it really all boils down to envy. And I'm seeing that currently your energy is a little bit that you are enclosed within yourself. You could be really isolating or in hermit mode right now, doing a lot of studying, a lot of introspection, maybe a lot of healing, maybe a lot of Netflix and chill, combination thereof. But I feel like there's somebody here watching you. And this could be literally like a witch thinking with the old saying of as above, so below kind of a thing. But I feel like they're looking at your door to abundance. 
I'm hearing the word travel. And obviously the word envy is right here. I feel like you'll know this person because their actions want to imitate you. I feel like they could even at times try to make fun of you and laugh it off. Like, oh, I'm just kidding. Why are you so sensitive? That kind of a thing. But I feel like you are in really good standing with your community. You have a lot of appreciation. Um, and this could be an old contract. This person could be somebody in your... Um, that could be in your contact list. They could be somebody that you blocked. This could be somebody new, but the two, the 20 right here makes me think of 2.0. I feel like this person thinks that they're going to be a 2.0 version of you. Now, hello, six of wands. Hello, six of wands. Well, we have the appreciation card right here. And I was going to mention before, but I did not. Um, this reminds me of the Six of Wands, which is this card that jumped out for us. Because, you know, when we add these up, it is the vibration of a six. And appreciation is another word for um, allocades or kind of like praise or public recognition, that kind of a thing. And with the Six of Wands, I feel like you have been through it. You have really struggled, maybe even perhaps in the public light. And I feel like maybe that's why you withdraw to regain your energy. Now, I feel like at this point you have, um, what you don't recognize by yourself is that you've really mastered things. You've become a great master, a great example of what it is to, um, to turn like lemons into lemonade or lemon cake, lemon bars, things like that. And I don't feel like you kind of keep it to just lemonade. That's why I gave you the other examples because that seems a little bit weak. Um, I do feel like you have been really creative in your endeavors. And for some reason, some way, somehow, you are being seen um, publicly and acknowledged for overcoming much, but also inspiring much as well. Now, right here with the six of wands right here, right here, uh, we could be double speaking right here. But anyways, um, this is about people recognizing public recognition of the things that you have endured on your own. And this can be like your ancestors. This could be your community, your circle of friends, friends, family, combination thereof. And make no mistake, not everybody who is surveilling you, which really indicates to me that somebody is spying on you, is going to applaud you. Some people want to steal your intellectual property. You might want to take measures into that as well. But I'm going to say that you have reached a level of public recognition where you think it's just like a small community watching you, like just friends and family, and you're just kind of like fire breathing for um, a small portion of people. Like, hey, look, I learned a new trick or things like that. But I feel like you're not seeing the really big picture, which is causing this situation to boil up. And I think that you're going to see the envy there and the old contract there. And I'm looking at how the scales are right above a stack of... Um, a stack of books. And that tells me that you have really done your due diligence. You have studied, you have read this contract, you have thought about it. Now this could be a real contract like when you sign for a house or an apartment or co-sign for a car, or have somebody co-sign for you. Um, this can be unspoken contracts and agreements on how you behave with friends, with family, with lovers. Whatever the contract is, by the way, it could be a job as well. You're looking for something equitable, equitable energy, okay? And I feel like you're going to be impartial about it. You're not going to be looking at what people say or what they say or even perhaps like um, the titles that people have. So this is your job or a family member or a best friend. You're going to look at behavior. You're going to look with your third eye. You're going to look at their energy. And you are going to look at how they have affected you on a personal level. Like when they come around, do you get headaches? Do you get body aches? Do you want to like run and hide? Do you want to kind of close up an origami yourself within yourself, like collapsing and not wanting to be readily available around this person. So there's gonna be many different signs. And I'm suggesting to you that you're gonna find these many signs are going to really point the finger out what contracts need to end. That is a clear contract that needs to end. If you're feeling any of those things, if you're uncomfortable, if you are afraid that somebody is going to mock you with steal your thunder or um, have nefarious reasons. And um, I'm hearing open hand, um, Backhanded compliments could be another thing as well. But you are, make no mistake, surrounded by a great community of people that really support you and your divinity and what you're striving to become. So there is no need to um, have a lot of fear about this situation. The next three months, show me what I need to see. The month number six of so May, June is going to be important for you, I feel. 
um, whatever month these are timeless readings, but the month of June could be something that you might want to prepare for or think about because I feel like you might have like new challenges, arrival, resurfacing or surfacing from out of nowhere, seemingly out of nowhere. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles right here. So I have the pearls. This could be like Mother of Pearls I'm hearing, but this is a great treasury. This is about um, independent wealth, but this is about familial wealth. This is about what's been handed from one generation to the next. This is about ancestral wealth as well. Things that have been unopened for a long time, maybe perhaps guarded and shielded from your view. Now I'm actually getting a little bit queasy. Um, so I feel like, I don't know if you guys have been on a boat. I'm sure most of you guys have, but this can indicate even a situation where you're, you're around a person and um, there are issues and you start feeling physically queasy around them. I would say definitely watch out for that. But also I'm going to say, take that as an indication that maybe there is a need to go out on a boat metaphorically, right? Um, it makes me think of the six of swords. So take your experiences with you and you're going to go out on a boat and really do some searching about what your treasure is, your generational treasure. I feel like this could be hidden um, in plain sight, something like that, where people have tried to steal your um, your legacy, your generational wealth, your um, abundance and things like that. This could even be your own family, your own quote friends, things like that. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. And this could be a spell caster. This could be somebody who is known and touted as being very highly psychic themselves with the shells here and all of this foam. But I'm going to say that because this is wrapping around her throat, there feels like to be a level of toxicity here with the five of wands. You'll know this person because you've had battles with them in the past. And this is a person who really wants to steal your legacy. Um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So your advice to really take notes and proceed with caution to wear your full armor. And if there is anything like... As far as like land goes, that's in dispute or houses or property or I don't know, whatever, then you might want to, you know, do a careful approach, make sure that you are centered, get close to nature and only invest time and energy if it behooves you get the help that you need. Again, making notes because I feel like things are going to become clear to you. Become your own detective if that is something that you feel like there's a need for. And I feel like that sort of th truth is going to really serve to free many, including this legacy that rightfully belongs to you that maybe perhaps has been hidden or entrapped or um, embezzled from other people by other people. So I feel like the sort of truth is going to really come and give you the clarity that you need. What else do we need to know? Words of encouragement, please, for pile number one. Can we encourage pile number one? What is this, please? A celebration. Okay, in the end, it's going to be a great celebration. I feel like you can even have um, partnerships or partners or things that you didn't even know existed that would really serve as a support system to you. So get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. So you have a uh, family community right here with like a celebration. Two celebrations coming, I say now between, uh, one celebration now between three months from now, but now may, uh, by the time June comes around, there'll be two for sure. Okay, two things to celebrate. So that is what I have for you. Let's see if we can get, um, how can we gain, how can we gain the upper hand, a spiritual perspective? How can we keep our balance? What is it that we need to know in order to finish strong? You're going to get your mojo back, your reason for being. Maybe you've been feeling lackluster. Maybe you've been feeling like you want to pull away, like this character right here. Zoe feels like she just wants to pull away. Um, you could meet a songbird. You yourself could be a songbird. You could take up singing. Or somebody could be singing you the truth. Singing um, things that you really needed to hear in order to make progress, okay? With this, yeah these two figures it this hand is pointing at zoe 
So I'm going to say that it just remember how individual you are, how different you are. And that is a key to really keep your mojo going. But also I feel like you're going to get some information, maybe even a proclamation to be able to help you to stand firm, stand tall. And I think that you are going to reap reaping some financial benefits that you're not even, you're not even looking for. I don't feel like that is your whole point, but that's nice to hear. So that's what I have for you. Much, much love to you. Until next time. Namaste. Hi, pal too. My name is Griselle with Psychic MD. If you missed the intro, I want to welcome all of you to my channel. Hope that all of you receive exactly what it is that you are seeking. Let's get a little bit of sagey sage going on here so we can get rid of any and previous energies. So, pal two, you chose summon. Quite mysterious. Now, I happen to notice that summon has a number 13. And 13 represents the death in the tarot. So something incredibly powerful is about to transpire within the next three months. Let's get a little bit of energy to find out what that is. Energy check for pile number two. Why is the summon card here? For the next three months, pile number two, please. Thank you. Patience. You're going to summon patience early. <laughs> And the goddess of the moon. I feel like you're going to really be in touch. I mean, this is like touching, touching, right? So we can have a lot of touching going on here. The goddess of the moon is really in touch with the lunar phases, with her emotions, with her intuition, with things that are hidden in plain sight, with things that are really thinly veiled in the darkness. I mean, if you bust out with a flashlight, you're going to see quite a bit, but nothing like you're going to see when the sun comes up. I feel like your intuition is everything at this point in time. I feel like you know it. And I think that you are summoning something, your intuition, maybe even more power. Maybe you're even um, summoning over your ancestors to be able to help you within the next three months. But there's an element of magic. Maybe you're calling in your magic in order to change and transmute things. With the number 13, I think of the death card, and that is a major, major change. So perhaps this is stating that you're summoning a major change and you're wanting to enter a more magical time of your life for yourself and your loved one and those around you. Now with the number 16, this is definitely <laughs> talking about patience. I'm like, can we not use this card ever again? I really struggle with patience. I am a Leo, so I definitely want things like yesterday. But regardless, I'm going to say that you may have an Indian guardian or guide that is on the other side or in the fifth dimension. And there's an element of patience right here that time. Okay, this is not for everybody, but I just heard this is when time runs out for someone else, that's going to be your time to shine, which is really, really kind of a weird thing to say. This can indicate like a legacy of sorts or maybe perhaps an inheritance. For most of you, that will not be the case. For most of you, it's going to be you trying to summon something completely different. I'm even looking at her face tattoos. I personally am like fascinated with all sorts of tattoos, including facial tattoos. Um... And I think it just makes quite the statement. I mean, I'm not going to weigh in, agree or disagree or whatever, but it's a little bit fascinating. Take a character like Post Malone and there's a lot of uh, dedication there. But then again, take the other character of uh, Blue's on again, off again girlfriend. I forget her name anyways. But yeah, she has a whole, whole tattoo of him on her face. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So I feel like this is summoning your inner power, summoning things that are on your very fingertip. And I think that you are ready to see maybe your own magic. This will require patience as you're refining things. Now, for some of you guys, you're trying to summon love. And I was not at all expecting this. So this might have been something that you've been waiting on for quite some time, which is why the patience is right there. And the goddess of the moon is indicating that things might be a little bit murky. The mail, the veil may have been, the mail, ha, huh, may have been a little bit thick. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just dropped some cards. That's what I get. Hello. Here you are. Okay. Um. Yes, look at this. So I feel like there could be a changing, because we have a lot of the green, 
lettering right here in the little green boxes. And this could be about your heart chakra opening up, warming up, and being open to love. If you've been in a very frigid situation or if you've been in a situation that is not really yielding or giving you what it is that you want, or if things are not really working out for a long time, that is about to change. And that is what you're trying to summon. Now this... Um, this rigid thing landed upside down and it's with a crow standing on top of the wall, right? And it presumably is like, maybe you've been putting up a wall from your heart to other people. Maybe you've given up on love, even if you're partner, not partner. Perhaps it's a situation where you're kind of like, okay, we're here for the kids or whatever. Uh, but this is about to change because that crow is stating that we're no longer walling off our heart, whatever the case may be, and whatever situation that you are in. So this is kind of a, a little bit enticing because there's a lot of red, a lot of orange going on there. Red is like security and then your sacral chakra is being addressed as well. So you could be having a great, I know, goodness and a great awakening and some of you guys are really awakening up your heart to love okay so maybe it's been like prettily packaged maybe you have actually buried it in hopes of it kind of growing or you thought oh well at some point you'll let it grow but you never met anyone to wanted to thaw that or you haven't met the right person or been in the right situation that you wanted to kind of bring down those bricks lower maybe you've been really hurt in love um, and you're trying to summon your magic in the magic of life once again so that you can feel free, free to love, free to give, free to be your most authentic self and not live in fear, fear of being hurt, fear of being betrayed and things like that. We have the high priestess of water. You're incredibly intu intuitive with the number four that tells me that brings about, that regulates you, brings about your balance. And this, once I reduce it, is also a balancing card, okay? I'm looking at the word complicated. Um, and the word trapped right here. And we are just going to make a note of that because I feel like once upon a time for you, love felt complicated. And I know I define myself in that way as well for quite a while. But you know what? Um, if you speak words enough, you will manifest those words. So be careful what you speak. Be careful what you reinforce and what you even write. Because there's magic to be had at your very fingertips if you allow it. But there's also misery and sadness if you welcome that as well. Show me what I need to see for pile number two, please. Show me what I need to see. Wisdom and look in a book. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Juicy, juicy pile number two. What's going on here? Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now's the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Like breaking down these walls, removing the pebbles so that people can actually get close to you. I'm a fine one to preach about that. We're not talking about me. Pile number two, look in a book. Whatever your question is right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you will find will bring you the insight that you see. So perhaps you're looking at love or um, once upon a time when I collected more books, I don't really do that much anymore. I used to have a book that said something to the effect of like, why men love bitches? <laughs> and that's my sense of humor, but also my mind frame at that point in time in my life. So um, be careful what you collect as well. But I feel like if this is not about you looking at a book, this could be about lo you looking in a journal. Maybe perhaps you stumble across a couple of journals and you're like, wow, this is a lot of negative energy. Let me get rid of that because I'm welcoming pure magic and incredible changes in my life. Angel of love, what's up? Pal number two, if you get married, you better invite me. Invite me to the celebration. If you make a lasting partnership, I am there. Where are we going to vacation at? I will go. So let me know because I want to be your plus two. I guess your plus one would be your spouse or your significant other. What is going on? I could be a caring connection for you, right? We can go to the islands. I'll support you in your honeymoon or whatever your thing is. Just kidding. But you have caring connections. You have people around that really care and love and support you. And I feel like you're manifesting a real caring, true, true soul for you. This is giving me a little bit of a Tomb Raider, like Angelina Jolie when she did the movie Tomb Raider. And a little bit of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You could have been fighting for your life. You could have been in survival mode. You could have been dealing with a lot of different things like um, deep, 
decompressing your neurological system is what I'm hearing. Now, I don't know a lot about that, and I'm not an MD for real. So you're going to seek all of your medical answers from somebody who is certified and qualified and have all of their letters after their names, right? We have the door to romance. I mean, I didn't come in here with the intention of doing a love reading pile number two. This is strictly what is coming up for you. And I love it. That's awesome. I feel like with this burden of cage, that echoes the other cards that came up where you felt like you were like in stagnancy and you were trapped. And I feel like you're freeing yourself, freeing your heart in order to allow love to come through once again. Again, whether this is a current partnership or whether it's a new one, excuse me, it is coming down. I feel like, again, May, June, because the number 33 reduces to a six. So by the month of June, you're going to be meeting somebody who has a massive impact, and they will actually take their time to prove to you that they're serious. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. This could be somebody who has uh, their own businesses. You could have your own business. Again, the treasure coming out here, Ace of Pentacles. You could have a message also in pile number one. And these could be connected. This person could be connected to like a new business or wanting to recruit you or collaborate with you. They want to, um, with the number three, that always makes me feel like cooperation, collaboration, collaborative effort. If you are a content creator, this could be another content creator saying, hey, I've seen, you know, what you're making and what you're shaking. <laughs> Let's do it. But there might be more motive to it than just that. And like a, a good thing, they might be like romantically interested in you. Okay. Five of Wands. And this could be a battle. I feel like this battle is more with the self. Okay. The number 1111 clocking in on the camera currently. So this could be about your stability. And you could have been experiencing a long a long cold winter friends where maybe perhaps romantically you've been single for a long time or haven't given your heart away for a long time or haven't really um seen the light of day as far as like love and romance goes but it is a time to thaw out and this might be quite the conflict within yourself more than anything and then we have the ten of pentacles so we're going to end your reading with this why you ask because this is everything the ten of pentacles is friends it's family it's community it is gathering this is having the light shown on everything and enjoying your bounty but not only enjoying your bounty being able to share it with loved ones whoever those loved ones are whether they are blood family family of choice combination thereof it doesn't make a difference i feel like this is loyalty this is stability this is being solid um you could be really getting adopted or blending your communities together with another person. And I feel like you're the one who has the magic magic touch to be able to bring that all together. So good luck to you. And don't forget my invite if uh, this winds up working out for you. Do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's going on and much love to you. Until next time, namaste. Hi, pal three. My name is Grossal with Psychic MD, and I'm here to do your reading. Pal number three, you chose the priestess, the high priestess of air. Nonetheless, how cool is that? We're going to get a little bit of sagey sage going on here just because we're going to eliminate any previous energies. Pal three, with the high priestess of air, it's quite interesting to me because the high priestess to me is always about your intuition, your gut feeling. But within the next three months, this is going to be true for you. You're going to be relying quite a bit on that, but also on your mental prowess. And I think that what's going to happen is you're going to follow your gut instinct. Your intuition is going to take the lead on many different things right now. And within the next three months, I feel like you're going to be doing your homework on those very things. So let's see what comes up for you. Pile number three. Show me what I need to see for pile three. Why is I hate Priestess of Air here for the next three months for pile three? A little bit of an energy check. What's going on? We have community. This card came out in pile number one. If you're drawn to it, that'd be great. If not, that's perfectly fine. Then we have the Healer of Ages. I want to take one more clarifying card, simply because that's what we can do. Cornucopia. Yeah. 
That makes sense to me. I feel like you are reaching a point in your life or just a point in general that you have really good intuition. You know how you have really good intuition. Other people know you have really good intuition. Stop. Look at these cards. Yes. We have healer, the healer of the ages with the number 51. The number six reducing, reducing that to me is always like the six of wands. That's like victory. But I also have, yeah, victory. This one, victory. I feel like you are crossing a lot of, you're scaling a lot of walls. You're closing a lot of chapters and you're opening up a lot of doors all sim simultaneously within the next three months. And I know this is like a three month reading because that was my intention starting out, but I'm feeling for you especially and pile number two it's the next six months this can be radical difference radical change i feel like you are really opening up to the door of value you're starting to accept your intuition and how valuable it has been and how on point it has been and therefore you tend to act a little bit more on this and because of that spirit's going to reward you with a lot of heavy hitting progress and changes in your life the door to cor cornucopia as well this is it always reminds me of like fruit alone but more most importantly, even more than that, this is about abundance and how you see abundance in all forms of abundance. And this is, yes, your 3D money and your wealth. And this is your inheritances and what you've inherited even spiritually, emotionally, physically from um, your genes, your lineage, your family lineage and things like that. Cornucopia can really be all things combined. And I feel like it's going to come towards you very gently very like easily okay because this is a card of peace it just feels very peaceful there weren't like a lot of battles going on here the main battle that i'm just feeling is still within you and i feel like with a high priestess of air it's just lining up that belief system that you have in order to support yourself i feel like that's been the biggest battle and all of a sudden when you conquer that you receive healing because this is um the healer of all ages, of the ages, right? I think it's Jesus with all of that glowy stuff behind his cool head. That's great. And I think that all of this is going to make you feel very secure, very safe. Maybe safety and um, I heard solidarity, okay? But maybe safety and having a firm foot on the ground, having roots, having um, a place to really feel like it's your home and things like that has been an issue now for example that can look like many things but one thing that comes to mind is that I move a lot and unfortunately when I was a child I moved a ton as well I'm um, not a military brat or anything like that it just was um, you can call it an unstable family <laughs> and then I became an unstable adult <laughs> go figure right but I just move a lot. I tend to move a lot, like every year at least. Um, and it's in spite of what people think, not something that I really like. It doesn't make me feel grounded or rooted. But I feel like the main thing is not feeling that sense of home, that feeling that sense of family, feeling that sense of like you're needed, you're wanted, or if something special is keeping you in any one place. Now, back to my story, I did feel like, you know, Phoenix, I, I kept in one place because of my son. But that's pretty much it. So you could have issues like that, like finding that peace within yourself, knowing and accepting where it is that you belong. Abundance, again, you can't make this ish up. Look, and it's going to come very softly. It's going to come easily. I feel like you've already worked towards this. And I feel like the more you accept and you love upon yourself, it's very, very important that you do this even like start practicing now because it's going to be in higher demand even later so that you can welcome in this abundance. Otherwise, energetically, you are going to be repelling that. Okay. So if things start coming towards you, you can be like, oh, no, no, I'm okay. Um, and it can look like different things. It's like, oh, hey, do you need help? Do you need help? Um, carrying your groceries or do you need help with this and you're like oh no I got it I'm, not, I'm the queen of doing that too and then lo and behold why are we overwhelmed <laughs> you know because I like to shoot myself in the foot occasionally pal number three we're opening up the door of value. I feel like you're seeing behind the curtain, behind the veil. I think that you are starting to be like, that's how manifesting goes. And it's so much easier than what we thought. Once you start believing in yourself and in your authenticity and your worthiness, because your worthiness is not contingent upon what you can provide, what you bring to the table, whether it be money, stability, property, or anything else to anyone else. It is your divine gift. 
And that's something that perhaps you could have wrestled with for a long time is self-worth. Pile number three. What do we have for the, for the next three months? Solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and total in total harmony with everything. The great greatest treasures are those that await silently during your quiet times. Yeah. And I feel like you already know that. I feel like you've done your battle with like if you've had to spend a lot of time by yourself or chosen to. Um, you're beyond the feelings of like, oh wow, this sucks. I'm always by myself. Um as I feel like there's just a great acceptance and a genuine enjoyment of your own company. And I know that sounds really weird, but um, for me, especially when I compare it to having, being surrounded by people or talking about things that I'm not interested in or I don't care about, um, or being surrounded by people that are still like, oh, what can I hustle from other people? Or they're into the hustle culture. Uh, this is how I'm going to get my bag, things like that. I feel like my brain gets bored. And so I much rather like discuss things with people that have different ideas than I do or similar ideas and notions, or frankly, I prefer my own company. And I think that you could be coming to that conclusion as well. Mm -hmm. And with the next three months, there is going to be a lot of action. So it could start out small and soft and appear to like come easy but when all this abundance breaks and it comes towards you and it comes for you i feel like you've been patient for a long time i think that you're gonna have to make some moves some sudden changes and you're not even putting that on the radar on the map third chakra archangel shamuel shamuel hmm okay so this is your solar plexus. This is like what you desire, your reason, your motivation to get up in the morning, all the things like that. And I feel like you are following your true north, okay? And I think that you're going to have to harness your positive and negative polarities. And it can look, look, look like this. Oh, goodness, I don't know if I can move to that place or if I can make those grand moves, grand gestures, or if I can invest in a company like that or if I can open up a store like that because I'm not sure. Then you have your positive and negative polarity kind of like, you know, sparking off of each other. Is this a time to move? Can we head in the right direction? Can we harness all of our fears and all of our joys and excitement and head in the right direction and allow spirit to do and allow people to help as they see fit and as they want to help? Let's see what else we have for you within the next three months. Major change. I feel victory. And all of this is contingent upon you listening to your intuition and your gut. Six of Wands, once again, this is about your intuition leading you into a victory. You have fought long and hard for this. You have fought and won. And you've been in the public eye doing this as well with the King of Pentacles right here. He's about ready to flip that coin. He's like, yep, heads or tails, bitches. Just kidding. Um, so I'm going to say that this is somebody trying to invest in you and with you. Okay. They could be like, oh, wow, you have a lot of talent. I feel like we can open up this together and you can manage this section of it and I can do this section or something like that. But this is about collaboration. Collaboration, cooperation, three of wands. This could have been something that you, oh, look at this. This, yes. Somebody has been looking at you for a long time thinking that they can like really um, throw in their bag with you, their lot with you, whether it's romantic, whether it's professional. I feel like it's more business for you guys, but it's going to be different for everyone. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a business thing and it could actually bleed on through into like a romantic thing. I don't know why I said bleed on through like that, but Six of Pentacles, this could be like a benefactor, somebody who says, you know, if you set this up, I will be the financial backer, the silent partner. I don't really want to be the face of it, but I definitely want to be involved because it's something I'm interested in. I would love to, or I have to invest this amount of money into a business. Otherwise, it has to go to, I don't know what the deal is, but this person wants to invest in you, okay? And I say take it. Love for cooperation and collaboration to be yours. Always read the fine print. That goes without saying, yep, because you are no fool. Okay, and I feel like things are changing around you and other people can be experiencing a ma massive collapse. Now, this reminds me a little bit about those, um, I don't know what they're called. They're like tin meal things. They're not exactly bento boxes because those are like more plastic or made out of something else. But these are just like one on top of the other. Similar idea anyways, more like from India. 
And uh, I feel like that there's something there, like stack, stacking up all the goods together. And I feel like people stack the odds against you, and that is crumbling because you're not putting up with it anymore. I feel like you're done with that. I've got the Two of Cups in it. Unfortunately, this gives me a lot of like the Titanic with a rose, you know. Um, I'll never leave you, that kind of a thing. And then she just lets them float. <laughs> And sink to the bottom anyways it's not funny but i mean she really could have scooted over done something different you know but hey it's a movie so two of cups right here i feel like you're going after whatever it is that gives you that personal joy that freedom that emotional gratification most of all and i do see a partnership right here of sorts so whatever it is um i feel like you're tapping more into your femininity if even if you're masculine doesn't matter we have um, both feminine and masculine quali qualities about us. And I feel like you're allowing that to be what, um, yeah, I feel like you've been submerged in your masculinity for a long time. And these are things that you're allowing is your intuition, um, and your femininity to shine through and allow for these boosts of help in this abundance to come towards you. And that is going to speed you on. I got the chariot once again with movement, with action. So you're gonna have a lot of movement and action. You could be moving, could be moving businesses, moving jobs or both, what else? Queen of Cups, following your intuition. This could be you being the great magician in a lot of ways, speaking your truth, speaking magic into the wind. Five of Wands, again, I feel like this could be an inner battle or a tendency to be defensive towards other people automatically, even though they mean you no harm or there's no real reason to hold them at bay like that other than just a habit. And that's, again, having to do with calming your nervous system. Your nervous system could be um, kind of fried, okay? I don't even know, like compassion fatigue, but some of you guys have endured a lot and um, it's going to take a lot to get you back to where you need to be energetically, emotionally, and all the things like that. So with the sun, I feel like you are shining bright, baby. Pile number three, you have people in your orbit looking after you. You have a lot of abundance around you that you don't really even observe, that you're even not even like taking the full picture of, the full spectrum. I feel like if we got out of this water and surveyed what was going on underneath some way, somehow with like polarized lenses or something, I feel like you would be thinking, wow, these kids are playing patty cake and everybody is swirling above them, almost like uh, in protection, right? The school of fish, all sorts of beautiful things happening around you. And you might just not be aware. You're not, you might not even be aware how um, you are divinely protected. People around you protect you because of your innocence, your love, your ability to just be bare chested in front of like the world. Not, I mean, like figuratively, right? But I feel like you don't have a lot of ulterior motives, but you could be quite defensive. And I resemble that remark. So, unfortunately, I'm working on that too. Pile number three. What else do we have? Encouraging words from spirit, please. Believe in magic. Uh-huh. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you're a part of the nature, and so you are magical too. Mm -hmm. Magical blessing. A lot of magic going on here. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Just by your presence, by intention and lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things that we never even realized were lost. Wow, that's kind of deep. So if you feel like you lost your purpose, your true north, if you lost your will to get up, your reason for being, your desire to move it and keep it moving and keep it going forward, if you feel like you've lost things in life, or given up on things and given up on ever finding like your mojo once again or a reason for waking up in the morning and for doing and for being optimistic then this is telling us that it is coming towards you being given back to you yep and this is beautiful because you're about to take a leap a leap of faith with this risk card you're once again open chested into the air into the heavens this is a trust fall with spirit, with your community, with your even your own gut, following your own gut and doing your research and trusting that above what anyone else says around you. 
maybe you decide to take a, a crack at the stock market and you invest in things that your intuition has been like, hey, do this, and you do it and it really works out for you a lot better than you would have thought. So that's what I have for you. Let me know what you think of this reading. Please do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe, and pile number three. I will see thee soon. Much love. Namaste.